And I wanted to apologize to anybody that I might have let down last night. This is, this is kind of hard to understand, but sometimes you can try so hard at something. Sometimes you can be so, so prepared and still fail. And with every time you fail, it's painful. It causes sadness. Especially as I saw last night, it causes disappointment. I've often said a man's character is not judged after he celebrates a victory by, but, but by what he does when his back is against the wall. So no matter how great the setback, how severe the failure, you never give up. You never give up, you pick yourself up, you brush yourself off, you push forward, you move on, you adapt, you overcome, that is what I believe. But I'm not talking to them. I'm talking to those people who still believe tonight I speak to those who still proudly stand in my corner. You have not given up on me and I will not give up on you. Listen to me. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year. But eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. You gotta write even if no one published your book, write because that was given to you to do. You do what it is you're supposed to. You're supposed to build something, you're supposed to create something. I don't know how to do it, learn. Do whatever is required. Just go out there. It's possible you can get what you want. It's necessary. If you want it, you got to go into action. You got to be willing to experiment. You got to be willing to fail and to succeed. You got to be willing to form and develop new relationships. It's you. It's on you. You got to make that happen. Nobody's going to bring it to you on a silver platter and say, "Here's your dream manifested." No, it's hard. Yes, it's hard. It's difficult. Yes, right. And it's worth it. What is worth? What is not worth? Let's look at where we want to go. What is it that we want to produce? What is it that we want to create? For our young people and as we think about that start experimenting with different methods and techniques to create and to produce that and begin to believe that it's possible through our commitment through our vision through our determination our relentlessness because of our belief it's possible that it's possible looking at what kind of world are they going to be in as we look at the global economy that as we begin to use our collective will and genius and resources. It's possible that we can create an educational system that not only will test their minds with, with information and facts and figures, but would teach them how to think and be creative and what does it mean to be a human being and to value human life and how do you make relationships work? How do you bounce back from adversity? It's possible that we can give them a curriculum that will give their lives a sense of purpose and direction and meaning and teach them how to begin. For us to begin to look at the future, no, that it's possible that we can have our dream. Yes, it is. Other people have done it, then we can do it. We fail a lot of times. Well, a lot of other folks fail, and eventually they came back and they succeeded. So it's possible we can have what we want. And we know that we want to get it. It's necessary that we align ourselves with people that think like we do. It's necessary we get negative, do-nothing people out of our lives. It's necessary we never stop learning and growing and developing ourselves. It's necessary that we never give up. We know that it's you, it's me. It's being responsible for our stuff and deciding that we're going to keep on keeping on, that we're going to find a way to win or find a way to make it happen. And we know it's hard. It's not going to be a picnic. Yes, it's hard. It's hard. And we will do it hard. And once it's, we do it hard and we go through it, we realize it was worth it. And once you discover it was worth it, it is done. It's done. Too far for Ronaldo to think about it. Oh! Absolutely sensational.
Arsenal. He went through Almunia, beaten for pace. And Manchester United have scored twice in a little more than 10 minutes here. Will they keep it down? Or has he got enough room to get up and over? I think he might keep it down. Here he comes. Oh, my word! Can you believe the genius of this man? What a hit! David James stood like a statue and already United are two up, both from Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, you look at David James, you hold your hands up and you say, unstoppable. Unstoppable. I thought he might have kept that low, he doesn't. Even I don't know what he's going to do. That is tremendous, that. Maybe someone's, he uh, don't like me, but because I'm, maybe I'm too good, I don't know why. Can't nothing stop me now. I'm on the move. I'm on the move.